Hey, Saturday, March 4th. Cheers, people. Mmm. Cinnamon Nut Swirl is the bomb for me. I drink other coffee, but Cinnamon Nut Swirl by Pears is... I dis discovered it years ago, and it's just been my house favorite ever since. <sighs> wow, people. Thank you. Another great Band Camp Friday. Thank you so very much. The physical orders will go out no later than Monday. <clears throat> might might get out this morning to the post office and get those to you. Like I said, the world is burning orders come from Pittsburgh. So that's, I've already forwarded the uh, information to that, to Randy's records. Thank you people so very much. And also I love the... Um, feedback not only about my brother's track yes yeah my brother was an exceptional player he had quite a tone his um i think he had a mastery of chords i'd put it like that but as well people are giving me uh, comments and compliments on my own tracks and yeah share some old stuff and um it's good stuff <laughs> i'm happy to say it is all you gotta do is listen so, um, it's Saturday. Um, last Saturday, I missed the Zoom with my family because I was recording. Planned to be there today. And um, so yesterday was, um, there was a new release that I wanted and I got for my Genesis collection. You all know what I'm talking about already. Or... Some of you do. The BBC Broadcast 3 LP set that just was released by Atlantic Rhino and BBC in conjunction. Saw this being talked about last month and wondered if it was going to get a proper um, worldwide release. This is the US version. Yes, it is. Happy to say. And I'm quite pleased with it. There, It seems like there are, well, there are all kinds of people. And there are some people who just seem to grouse no matter what. And already in the record collecting groups, we have the, 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 the Genesis collector grousers who are complaining about this album. And I don't agree with them. They can grouse. That's their lot. But it's not mine. This has one whole album of Peter Gabriel except for one track. The final track on side... The final two tracks on side two are with Phil on vocals. But the Peter Gabriel tracks are to die for. Now, honestly, did I already have them? Yeah, because I, you know, I collect... Genesis boots. These things have been booted many times. But to have it in this in this format is is great. It's a nice it's a nice package. I personally loved all Genesis and so I'm not complaining and I actually listened to this all six sides and enjoyed all six sides, including the live version of No Son of Mine. I did see Genesis on their last tour before they um, officially broke up when they put out that album We Can't Dance and it was a really excellent show so very happy to add that to my Genesis collection I didn't grab it right away but I went ahead and got this, The Divine Symmetry because I knew when I got that Bowie pr uh, promo I knew I'd already I'd gotten half of this on that so this is like they're calling it the uh, a re- Another look at the Hunky Dory album, or whatever you want to call it. It's another David Bowie item. And um, I imagine that David Bowie's legacy and the ability for people to make money off of his legacy will go on for a long time. People are, you know, there's big money and death. Doesn't sound good to say it, but it's true. 
I didn't even really care about this, but they had them. They had still had some, so I got the free Bowie uh, bag that that goes with the record. If you get there in time, I, I wasn't particularly worried about that. Okay. Um, of the records I bought recently, I did get into the Ornette Coleman. This is fantastic. It's beautiful. And uh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. People, thank you so much. Excuse me. Thank you so much. That's really <laughs> the main thing I got to say. Is thank you. Wow. Thank you very much.